As you know, the latest addition to the classic Alpha 7 series, the A7 Mark IV, was announced by Sony in 2021. Today we're here to review the Sony Alpha 7 V, the highly anticipated but not yet official successor to the popular A7 series. Before we begin, keep in mind that this is not an advertisement and is purely based on speculation and expectations. If you're ready, let's get started. Let's start with the heart of the camera, the sensor and processor. The A7 IV boasts a 33 megapixel sensor and the latest Bion XR processor. With Sony's track record of improving these components with each iteration, we expect the A7 V to feature a moderate increase in megapixels, possibly reaching 40. Additionally, the Bion processor is likely to get a generational upgrade, promising better dynamic range, low light performance, and processing speed. The A7 IV already brought us oversampled 4K at 30 FPS and 120 FPS. The A7 V, however, is expected to take video quality to the next level with its 6K resolution capabilities. We also anticipate new features like All Eye, making video editing easier. And rumor has it that the A7 V might even record at 240 FPS in 1080p for creative video production. Autofocus is crucial for both photographers and videographers. Sony has made strides in this area with the A7 III and IV. The A7 V is expected to bring further improvements in real-time tracking autofocus and computational power. Expect blazing fast and precise focus, even during rapid 30 FPS bursts when using the electronic shutter. The A7V's display is set to offer a better viewing experience. Expect improvements in the viewfinder and the rear LCD screen. The camera might feature a faster refresh rate, enhancing both capturing and reviewing images. Furthermore, it could be more comfortable to hold, possibly with a larger grip and improved dust protection around the lens mount. Ergonomics matter, especially for videographers. The Alpha 7 is expected to bring more significant changes to the body layout and controls. A larger grip and improved weather sealing are anticipated. It might also feature two memory card slots, possibly compatible with CF Express Type A cards. Now, let's talk about the price. Sony typically employs a tiered pricing strategy, and we can expect the A7 V to be positioned between the A7 IV and the high-end A7R4. We're looking at an initial MSRP of around $2,500, which aligns well with the anticipated feature improvements. Keep in mind that discounts might bring this down to approximately $2,200. In conclusion, the Sony Alpha 7 V is expected to reaffirm Sony's commitment to advancing the mirrorless camera market. It caters to the needs of both photographers and videographers. We might also see the release of new lenses to complement the camera, like premium prime lenses. However, we believe the A7 V is still about a year and a half away, given Sony's typical upgrade cycle of 3 to 3.5 years. That's all for today's video. What do you think about the potential features of the Sony A7 V? If you've watched this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. As soon as there is new information in the camera industry, we share it with you. Until next time, happy shooting.